Happy March! I have a lot of uh, barn chores and random stuff to do today. So in keeping up with the vlog, we are gonna do some chores and how to hang out today. I am like so desperate to clip these woolly beasties. Look at this hair. Oh my goodness. But I also know that if I clip them now, we'll get a snowstorm in March, so trying really hard to hold out, but it's driving me crazy. Uh, the groom in me really wants to clip. I've been enjoying some somewhat spring weather here. I wouldn't quite call it spring yet, but it's not too bad. March is like the last month where we're really milking um, winter training and winter blues and nothing's happening yet and then april it feels like we're close to being back to things starting up first event is not until the first week in may and that's only a combined test so it still kind of feels like the show season is far away which i don't know that i'm like particularly excited about like the show season specifically but I'm excited to like get a crack back at like um, seeing where I can get with Z's training this summer and um, his anxiety and things like that. So I'm ready to kind of get back to it, do more cross country schooling and uh, see where I can get with him this season. We'll see. My brain is always kind of mushy um, as to what I've mentioned and I haven't, but if I didn't mention it in the last vlog, Z is kind of dealing with a pretty bad um, Lyme disease flare-up, which I, think, I didn't think I mentioned it in the last vlog. It's a tick-related illness. Um, more of like infection than disease. They call it Lyme disease though. Um, anyways, so we're treating that and he's just kind of doing walk trot, right? He is just kind of doing walk trot work right now until his body feels a little bit better. I know. Chippy, excuse me, what are you doing? I try to take two seconds to put a different horse in the stall and she tries to scavenge around for food. Agenda today, but all of the horses have to get worked 
Today, I'm gonna do a short conditioning ride on Rexy. Um, he did some uh, lunging and long lining the last two days, so I figured that would be a nice break. Do some hill walking and some trot sets. So I'm gonna tack him up and groom him quick to go do that. I'm also probably gonna hack Z today and Richie's gonna have a lunge day. I've been working those three horses kind of every day right now. Um, and then uh, occasionally I have some lunges for some like client horses. But anyways, all of that to say just that uh, Rex, Rex, Richie, and Z have been on my daily agenda right now. We are definitely in strip hair season now. This is my favorite tool to use during shedding season. Um, it's gentle, but it does the job. You know, I have things like this Slick Ease groomer and regular shedding blade, um, or some people call these metal curry shedding blade. Um, but they have obviously rough edges, as you can see. So I just find that the strip hair groomer, because it's a more rubber material, it's just more kinder to them. I will throw a link to this product in the description below, but if you don't have it in your grooming box, it's a must have. My sleep schedule has been a little off this week and I didn't sleep well last night, so I'm feeling a little tired today, but I'm still gonna jump in and get this stuff done. Um, I'm gonna take Rexy out for his little conditioning ride now and then uh, I'll check in with you guys after. It's actually like not that that bad out, so I'm gonna be a big girl and ride Z outside today. Um, the wind kind of hits you in the eyes, but otherwise it's really not not that terrible today. It's just a little windy, but the sun feels good at least, so. I know we've discussed before for sure how dumb I look putting bridles together this way, but it really helps me mentally do it right. Um, I put, so uh, I put some correct connect reins on Richie's dressage bridle and he was chewing on them, so I'm putting them back on Rex's Bridle. I'm gonna get Z out to beamer him and then as he beamers, I'm gonna muck the stalls quick before I ride. Rexy, of course, destroying another blanket. It wouldn't be a winter season if he didn't try to destroy at least one blanket. I'm like really ready for bath season, honestly. I just like have the itch to give them all bath. And I'm typically not a huge bath person in the sense that they don't like to strip their coats of their natural oil, but when we get to this point in the winter, I'm so ready to give them like a coconut oil moisturizing bath. They have dry, dirty skin. Ugh. I mean, I have dry skin too right now. My hands are like, so bad. I've been putting Vaseline on my hands during the day and then putting on gloves over top of them because they're cracking so bad. Things I really hate about winter. <laughs> I'm definitely beyond over it at this point and ready to move on with spring. Just feeling blah, like unenthusiastic. Blech. I've been struggling a little bit with getting motivated to do 
to like my kind of funky sleep schedule. And I've been working a little bit extra right now. So I haven't been feeling up to like learning <laughs> his name like I should. I need like a, a mini vacation. Really, I haven't seen a weekend in Aiken. I'm like getting jealous of everyone in Aiken right now having fun. Richie taking his daily snooze. Also, I'm a huge fan of Red Bull, the sugar-free kind, and I like to drink those. I try not to drink them super late in the day, but sometimes I do. And I guarantee you that messes up my sleep at night. I can't help it because I just really enjoy drinking Red Bull, which is terrible. I also have two cups of coffee in the morning, so I probably have a little bit of a caffeine problem. Just to kind of keep him moving. 
good for his joints and uh, can be a little bit up and fresh in the winter time. So it's kind of good to keep him in a program. Um, I'm gonna hop on him and that's kind of gonna wrap up the vlog today. I uh, have some clients coming in this afternoon, so I'm gonna probably wrap up with that, but let's go take him out for a hack first. I don't know if I mentioned uh, to you guys, but I have been riding him in a noise canceling bonnet on the windy days. This is uh, the actual like Equifit one. Thankfully, uh, my boss got one of these for flower, and so I've been borrowing it. It, it definitely has made a huge difference helping him with the wind noise. You know, he's definitely kind of like noise reactive, if that's the right word. So, I try to put this on when it's a little bit windy out so he does less like spooking and <laughs> side shuffling under me and we can stay a little more focused on um, what we're trying to do. <laughs> Are you the cutest, Mushy? You are the cutest. It's a good thing, even though you're grouchy. Okay, it's time to feed lunch and get on with the chores before uh, some clients come this afternoon. I have to muck paddocks and stuff. But uh, thanks for coming along with me for barn chores today and on another barn vlog. If you guys like my vlogs, please make sure that you like my videos, give them a good thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I also love chatting with you guys in the comments. Thank you to all of my subscribers that comment on the reg. Um, that sounded so cheesy to say, um, but I really enjoy it. I enjoy getting the feedback. So uh, stay tuned. I'll see you guys next time.